Welcome to the Advanced Shape Tools Quick Start Tutorial. In the last tutorial video, we gave you an overview of how to work with Visionscape's vector drawing tools to make a shape. This video will focus more on things you can do with complicated shapes to create intricate designs and details for your scenes. Before we begin, we need some examples of shapes to work with. Previously, we had you draw your own shape, but for this tutorial, we'll be using the preset shapes in the Shape tab of the Geometry Properties panel. First, with the Patio tool selected, draw a few points to make a random shape in the Perspective view. No need to worry about the look of the shape, because we'll be replacing it immediately. Next, click on one of the Shape thumbnails on the Shape tab of the Properties panel. This will automatically apply the shape to whatever object you have selected. The preset shape library contains a range of simple to complex shapes for you to choose from and sample. We've got some examples of things to work with now, so let's discuss some of the things that you can do with a completed shape. One of the most important features of Visionscape's smart tool system is the ability to transfer shapes and their positions back and forth between different types of smart objects by using the paste shape and the paste shape and move commands. To do this, simply copy the object you want to use as the shape template, then select the object to inherit the shape, right click, and choose one of the paste shape commands from the menu. You can transfer a shape between any object type, even ones that only allow for open or closed shapes. The shape will automatically adjust to the tool it's being applied to. Also contained on the Shape tab are the Boolean operations. Booleans allow you to combine multiple shapes into one using Add, Subtract, and Intersection commands to either cut pieces out or merge them together. To make a Boolean shape, select the two objects you would like to use as components, then click the button on the Shape tab for the Boolean operation you want to apply. The first shape that you selected will be replaced with the Boolean result, while the second shape will remain unaffected. Switching over to the Shape tab of the Geometry Property panel, you'll find a variety of options for lining up multiple shapes, which could be good for things like setting up the aforementioned Boolean operations. The Mirror command gives you a quick way to flip shapes on one axis, even with multiple selected. The Align command allows you to line up multiple objects on a single axis, either by their center points or along one side. And the Distribute command will space out all of the selected objects evenly along a line. Finally, the Offset command gets special mention for how well it works together with the Paste, Shape, and Move command. Clicking on Inset or Outset will expand or contract the shape along the contour of the original by the offset distance specified. This is great for things like patio steps or striped borders with inlays. This concludes our quick start tutorial on advanced shape tool commands. If you missed part one, check out the help documentation section to find our video tutorials on drawing shapes using vector tools. We hope these tutorials have been helpful and invite you to check out more of our help documentation as well as our template design library for some live examples to study.